As soon as we launched on the shop, we went for Slouse, who ran it, a big port wine jelly of a Vec who vidded at once what was coming and made straight for the inside where the telephone was and perhaps his well-oiled pushka, complete with six dirty rounds. Dim was round that counter, scorry as a bird, sending packets of snouty flying and cracking over a big cutout, showing a sharp with all her zoobies going flash at the customers and her groodies near hanging out to advertise some new brand of cancers. What you could viddy then was a sort of a big ball rolling into the inside of the shop behind the curtain, this being old Dim and Slouse sort of locked in a death struggle. Then you could slushy panting and snoring and kicking behind the curtain and Veshi's falling over and swearing and then glass going smash, smash, smash. Mother Slouse, the wife, was sort of froze behind the counter. We could tell she would creech murder given one chance, so I was round that counter very scorry and had a hold of her and a horror show big lump she was too, all nuking of scent and with flip-flop big bobbing groodies on her. I'd got my rooker round her rot to stop her belting out death and destruction to the four winds of heaven, but this lady doggy gave me a large foul big bite on it and it was me that did the creeching and then she opened up beautiful with a flip yell for the Millicents. Well, then she had to be toll chocked proper with one of the weights for the scales, and then a fair tap with a crowbar they had for opening cases, and that brought the red out like an old friend. So we had her down on the floor, and a rip of her platies for fun, and a gentle bit of the boot to stop her moaning, and vidying her lying there with her groodies on show, I wondered should I or not, but that was for later on in the evening.